Hey guys, this is your fiery friend the Inferno Man here, and if you're into games, you're right where you need to be. But before we get into it, if you like the content that I put out there, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit me up with a like, or even better, subscribe to me. It really shows that people do care about my content. Now, if you have questions, comments, stuff you'd like to see played or discussed, you can at me on Twitter or chat directly with me as I stream two to three times a week on Twitch. A visual link for those are up on the screen right now, and I will have direct links in the details below. And for today's topic, we're going to be going over Magic the Gathering's latest secret lair drop that's going to be coming out later this month called Black is Magic. <sighs> okay, before I even begin to even discuss the article or my opinions on this, here's something that I do want to lay out there just as a foundation. First off, Wizards of the Coast is a privately owned company. They are free to make whatever products they want and can cater to any markets they wish to do so at any time. That's something that's fine. I don't care about that. But this is going to be a problem going forward, which I will explain in a little bit. But first, let's go over the point of the secret layer. We'll go over the article first I will post up. It reads, Wizards of the Coast is proud to celebrate Black History Month with the secret layer Black is Magic Drop, which celebrates and supports different expressions of Black identity. This special collection will be available for pre-order February 22nd through March 31st, with the proceeds benefiting the game design, digital art, and game development of programs of Black Girls Code, an organization that empowers girls of color in game design and other coding programs. <clears throat> it continues to read the product description. Black History Month celebrates Black history and the honors of the stories, culture, and achievements of Black people. The Black is Magic drop celebrates and supports different expressions of Black identity. Each card is illustrated by a Black artist who brought their unique art style to the drop. Inad, I'm sorry, I'm going to botch this real quick. Ernada Souza interprets Shalai, Voice of Plenty, as a guardian angel who protects and shields the people. Ejiwa Edge Enebe... Sorry, again, I'm going to keep on butchering these, so just bear with me. Gives us a ponder that honors elders and African spiritual tradition. Hillary Wilson, Danny Pendergast, Kino, Thomas Zenteno, and Julio Reina, Reina celebrates the more aspects of the Black experience and additional cards that will be revealed soon. Black Girls Code aims to increase the number of women of color in the digital space by empowering girls of color between ages 7 and 217 to become innovators in the STEM fields, leaders in their communities, and builders of their own future through exposure of computer science and technology. You can see right here, I've posted up right the contents of the cards that are currently announced. There will be more cards later this month. Available, of course, in foil and non-foil, one borderless alternate art July of Voice of Plenty, one borderless alternate art Ponder, five additional borderless alternate art cards to be revealed soon check back on february 9th and 16th for more secret layer of black is magic details pricing of course will be looks like it's about 49.99 so about 50 bucks okay let's go over my thoughts on this stuff so again as i mentioned at the very beginning if they want to do a secret layer like this this is perfectly fine this is not the problem i have i don't care that magic wants to do this stuff but this is now something that's going to open up into more of the what about other cultures now the thing that again that they wanted to cleverly add in here is they added in of course that key phrase which is girls of color so in other words they're trying to do a little blanket statement to say like hey even though this is a black is magic themed secret lair we are still acknowledging that we want to reach out to other uh small minority groups out there however the thing that i have a problem with with this is where was months ago the hispanic heritage month Secret Lair. Where was that, Wizards? I believe also there's also a month for Asian Pacific Islanders. I didn't see a Secret Lair drop for that. We did get last year a International Women's Day Secret Lair drop. If you like this drop, that's perfectly fine. You are welcome to do that. You can buy this if you want to. I'm not saying don't support it. I'm not saying don't do any of that stuff. But what I'm saying is Wizards and many other companies are doing this weird thing where, again... I acknowledge that, yes, the month is here, but I would probably have more respect for them if they actually did this for a multitude of cultures. So if they do this, and in a couple months we don't see anything for other minority groups out there, then it kind of shows what really matters. And I'm just going to be blunt and say it. The only color that really matters is green. This is just a means for them to get an easy amount of money from people, 50 bucks out of you to get some cards that are like, oh, yay, it's a black person 
doing the art for a card that I may or may not use to support these black girls code. Okay, great. But here's also the thing too. You don't have to wait until February to celebrate this stuff. I would have way more respect for Wizards or any of these other companies that did this stuff, you know, sp- periodically throughout the months. They don't have to wait until Black History Month. You don't have to wait until Hispanic Heritage Month. So as I said, I'm, for example, I'm not black. I'm not white. If you see me on my streams, I am brown. <laughs> Specifically, I have a Hispanic heritage myself personally. But I don't care. I don't use that as my means to... That's not my representation. I am myself. I just happen to be a different skin color. So to a degree, no, this may not be catered towards me. But I, I, my point I'm trying to make with this is I just want to see... If we're going to go this route, then it has to go everywhere. It has to go to all other small minorities out there. And that's the problem we're going to have going forward. If they do start doing this stuff, then we're going to have this weird situation where we're going to awkwardly pseudo-segregate based on color. And I thought we were trying to avoid that stuff. Again, as a privately owned company, they are free to do this. They are not obligated to have to do another secret layer for International Women's Day. They don't have to do one for Hispanic Heritage Month. All I just want to say that I warn wizards is, once you start doing this, then other people will speak up. And trying to blanket it over and go, oh, no, no, this isn't just for black people. We're also representing other people of color. That's kind of a lazy way to weasel your way out of trying to avoid future situations where, oh, well, we want to represent... You know, again, as I mentioned before, Hispanics, but we want to also in- include, you know, that, that word again, inclusive, into other individuals out there. No, no, no. Don't try to do this, wizards. If you've already now acknowledged you're going to do this drop, I am going to expect you in a couple months to do this for Asians, do this for Hispanics. You want to add in, you know, Indians as well? You want to add in Native Americans? You want to add in other cultures and whatnot? Do it. Don't be lazy. Do it for the other groups. And that's all I got to say about this. All right. Again, if you want to buy this product, good for you. If you want to do support those black girls that code and other girls of color, fine. That's that's on you guys. I'm not saying do or do not. I always, as I always let you guys know, you do you. All I'm just saying is to the company, Wizards of the Coast, if you're going to do this, then people are going to hold you to others. I've already made a tweet about this, so jokingly saying like i better see it not that i really care again whether or not it happens i just want to see are they going to hold their end of the deal and acknowledge other groups or else you are going to get people they're going to call you out on this but that's all i got for this what do you guys think about this are you is anybody out there actually going to buy this one are you doing it because you actually want to support the black artists do you want to support other artists out there do you really actually care that it has to be a certain month to do this kind of stuff do you feel like they can do this anytime Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Aside from that, thanks again for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if I helped you out. You learned something, or at least I entertained you. And until next time, I don't know when I'm going to do my next video. I'm going to start doing more sporadic videos just based upon things like this that I see that I feel that need to be acknowledged. But overall, remember, no matter what game you play in life, always be sure, guys, to burn bright. Later.